Thanks for reading children's books read aloud by Happy Cultivated. Today's book, Skippy John Jones in the Dog House. Between the hours of 1 p.m. and 3 p.m., Skippy John Jones created his finest piece of artwork ever. Up and down and all around the newly painted hall. And this rubbed his mama's fur the wrong way. Drop that crayon right now, Mr. Doodlepaws, commanded Mama Junebug Jones. You're not the boss of me, said Skippy John Jones. In your dreams, Mr. Beans, said Mama. I cannot believe that in two quiet hours you covered the walls with those cocky-eyed chihuahuas, she scowled. You are not a chihuahua. You are a naughty Siamese cat. And you need a time out to think about that. The kitty boy did not budge. But Junebug could be very persuasive. If you think more like a cat, she said, Mama will catch you a mouse big and fat. I'll dip it in butter and roll it in cheese. All you must do is think Siamese. And stay out of your closet or you'll really be in the doghouse, she added, putting him into his room. In fact, Skippy John Jones was thinking before Mama Junebug Jones even left. He was thinking of bouncing. Doghouse, repeated Skippy John Jones, beginning to bounce. First, he bounced high. Then he bounced low. Pointing his rear to the chair down below. Everyone knows, from my big ears to my toes, I'm not a Siamese cat. I'm Skippy John Jones, a chihuahua to my bones. And that's what I think about that. But he missed the chair and went careening into a pile of stuffed animals. Holy jalapeno! exclaimed Skippy John Jones, pulling a bird from his ear. The little bird says there is a babalito in the doghouse. Quicker than you can say, Skippy John Jones, Skippy John Jones, Skippy John Jones, the kitty boy climbed into his mask and cape. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he began to sing. Oh, my name is Skippito Frisquito, clap, clap. And I heard from the little birdito, clap, clap that the doggies have fled from the gobbling head who goes by the name Babalito, clap, clap. Down the hall, Mama and the girls squeeze together on the couch for a little TV. Can Skippy John watch Quiz Kitties with us? Asked Jilly Boo. Not right now, Pigeon Puff answered Mama. Skipper Doodle still has some serious Siamese thinking to do. But Skippy John Jones was not thinking Siamese. He was thinking Chihuahua. Quiet as a cotton ball, Skippy Doodle rolled into his closet, 
He blew past a boulder, chugged up a hill, and arrived alongside a shack perched two bones shy of the end of the world. Where the heckito am I? wondered Scapito aloud. The place bloomed with sniffing noses. Who wants to know? growled a voice from inside. It is I, El Scapito Frasquito, the great sword fighter, the great bumblebeeto eater, the great fly defeater, the great spider biter, the greatest poco parito of all, said Scapito. Suddenly, a rope cut the air with a snappito. Whoa, said Scapito as he flew under the curtain and into the shack. The house was chock full of chihuahuas. They were cavorting in the cupboards and splashing in the sink. They were chilling in the ice cube trays and melting into drinks. And sitting right in the middle of the mayhem were his old amigos, Los Chimichangas. Hola, Scapito. Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, grinned. We have been waiting for you, dude. Si, Scapito, said Poquito Tito. Yesterday morning we left the house to buy some beans, and at night when we returned, a babolito was in La Casa Parito. Not in the little dog house, exclaimed Scapito. Uh-huh, said Poquito Tito. He's a fanatica and so dramatica, and he bobbles and nods in our attica. He must be a pain in the sciatica, said Scapito. He's a yes man, added Don Diego. And then all of the doggies nodded. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. A jumbolito pain, agreed Polka Daldito. And you are just what the dog tour ordered. This made the pochitos feel so good that they all began to sing and dance. First you turn the music way up loud, then you nod your head up and down, and wag your loco tail back and forth to the chimichanga rumba and the cha-cha-cha. Stop it! You are killing me, dudes, said Scapito. Enough of the bunky business, said Poquito Tito as he pulled Scapito outside and over to a giant tortilla. Lie down and close your eyes, ordered Poquito Tito. Por qué? asked Scapito nervously. Because, dude, said Poquito Tito, at five o'clock, Abuelo Crispito will spill the frijoles. Not the beans again, said Scapito. At Cinco Bells, a chihuahua as old as Montezuma popped out of the holy boulder and, patui, brought forth three beans. It's a three beaner, declared the paritos. Then they rolled Scapito into a three bean burrito. Now we are sure to have good luck. Then the burrito was packed onto the skateboard with the rest of the pochitos, and together they rolled over the cliff into the valley of the dogs, singing as they went. Yes, sari, sarito, clap, clap. It's the return of our boy El Scapito, clap, clap. A bird in his ear said we needed him here. It's kaboom to the big babalito. Clap, clap. 
Los chimichangas and the burrito blew into the town of Pado Pado Gonzo, faster than a flea on a flying furball. To the right of the square stood La Casa Parito. Miras Capito, howled Don Diego. The nodding Babalito is up in the Attica. But Scapito was too scared to look. The Paritos did not give a hutito about Scapito's jitters. They just wanted the Babalito out, and he was the dog for the job. With one big flourish, the Paritos unrolled the tortilla and tossed the kitty boy and the beans up, up, up into the air until he landed on the roof of the doghouse. Go get him, Scapito! cried the Puchitos. Oh, Mamalita! cried Scapito, catching a glimpse of the hulking shadow of the Babalito. Oingy boingy bouncy pouncy, Scapito flashed his naughty monkey eyes and lunged straight for the head of the Babalito. Yeehaw Ito! hollered Scapito as he took the ride of his life. And in no time flat, the kitty boy brought that Babalito right down to size. Faster than you could say, Chili Chew and Chihuahuas, he grabbed the itty bitty Babalito and stuffed him into his pants. Lickety splickety rickety tickety. Scapito rode the railing all the way down to the front door. And he bounced into the good night air, landing right in the middle of the fluffy white tortilla. Los Chimichangas rolled Scapito up snug as a bug and began to chant, Muchas gracias, Skippy Dippy Dango. Bye, Babalito, Boogie Woogie Tango. Muchos Puchos, Lickety Sticky Mango. Gozo Bozo, Jimmy Jimmy Chango. And they carried the Parito all the way back to his room. With Quiz Kitties over, Mama Junebug directed her ears towards Skippy John's very quiet room. Hmm mused Mama. I wonder what he's up to. She told the girls to go and take a peek. He's all wrapped up in his old white blankie, said Jezebel. And he's talking to my itty bitty kitty bobblehead, said Jujubee. Maybe he's thinking Siamese, added Jilly Boo. Really? asked Mama. Oh, he's such a little crumb cake. But Skippy John Jones was not thinking Siamese. He was still thinking Chihuahua. Do you like mice and beans? Skippy John asked the bobblehead. Then he touched the itty bitty kitty's nose with the tip of his blanket. The bobblehead just nodded. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Me too, said Skippy John Jones. Thanks for reading with Happy Cultivated. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Be sure you click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when we post new books. And for each book that we read, we create book-inspired art that you can hang in your bedroom, your playroom, or use it as a gift. Thanks for watching. Happy reading.